I got a camera. So I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk about this whole pandering, racial pandering that all beings are doing right now. All this racial pandering that everybody is doing to the black man. It is stupid. It is pathetic. I went to a I guess you would say a Black Lives Matter uh, outdoor event. Not protest. Outdoor event here in New Mexico. Roosevelt Park. And my problem with it is this. All of y'all are full of shit. All of you are full of shit. For starters, if black men matter to you so much, then how come you didn't choose this as a dating option, black woman? How come you were forever talking about what we're not? Why you can't even come why we can't even come close to you? Because we're not in your economic bracket, which is the whole agenda anyway by the Democrats and all those invaded Republican states by those by those racist Democrats who, yeah, all that shit, you know, all that shit. So all, all these races are pandering to us saying black lives matter. So I get it. I'm with it on some degree. But here's where I'm, I get frustrated. Because if we mattered, you would have heard us when we talked about our outcries in Hollywood. If it mattered, you would have talked about the discrimination we faced in all the sporting uh, industries. If we mattered, you would have heard us over hearing somebody, uh, you know, you would have heard our emotional outcry for things as opposed to just hearing your girlfriends. If we mattered you'd have more images of things that would encourage you to be with a black man, black woman, as opposed to more selfies of you, 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 you. Your self-esteem is so low, you, anything that feeds it, you just go along with it. That's why a lot of y'all with these posturing chads or posturing Karens, a lot of you are with people who are just convenient ships. They don't really love you for who you are. Let me explain something to you. It don't matter how far down the line you go in life. There's only a few people who will care about you. Friends is friends. And friends will always love you for who you are. But your friends really respect you when you respect your own tribe. Because when you respect your own tribe, they know as an outside tribe, you will respect them. Because you are respectful. Everybody means to be respectful unless we have a problem. Unless you have a means and a reason not to be. Say that because highly disappointed. Didn't see too many, you know, black couples there. And I know they're out there. They just be hiding out, you know, demographics of certain places. Do me a favor. If you care about us. Go ahead and talk to the radio station. Tell them to stop playing, you know, you know, this 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 shit they call hip hop now that just reiterates the lie, reiterates somebody shooting a black man. If you care about black life. Hell, why don't you uh get with some producers and produce some positive images for black men? Because since film has been a thing in the world, you don't see that many positive images of us. You see us getting killed first, killed fast, the bad guy, the monster. If you care so much about us, why you act so scared for the ones you don't even know? You act treat us like shit. That's all types. It's all the races. You treat us like shit when you go in an Asian store. You treat us like shit when we walking around some Middle Easterners. You treat us like shit when you know Egyptians, uh, people from India. I mean, people from China other Africans, other, yo, like for real, like if you care about us, why don't you be an advocate for us and say, Hey, look, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be saying these type of things about these, about 
these people who are innovators of all the fucking cool styles of the fucking world. All the cool shit you say. All the cool shit we done, you gonna do it and that's it. You know, make it a fucking sale until we come up with the next idea. So, if you care about us, stop stealing from us. If you care about us, let the artists that we really listen to be played more on the radio. If you care about us, show us more of our images. Help us get our own images out, man. Or get the fuck out the way so we can have them up. You know what I'm saying? If you care about us, tell our true story. Tr- tell our true history. Not some bedwinches bought persona perception because she, she's going to get paid by he's this director and that director. Come on, man. Don't fall for that. Disappointed. Because you go to a so-called event like this, you see everybody just pandering, hanging out, spending the time to smoke weed in, the, in public. I love weed like the next man. I'm smoking it right now. Doesn't mean I don't smoke it around some fucking kids and all ages event. Doesn't mean all the artists got to be talking about rap, this and that and it. Bullshit that don't mean nothing. I could rap better than all you motherfuckers. Most of you motherfuckers. And I won't have to say nothing negative about it. Like, for real. Why do we need events to, to, to help our victim mindset to increase? If you care about black life so much, why don't you go ahead and encourage the black man next to you, or closest to you, to be a better father, to be a better man, to be a better king? If you care about black life so much, don't loathe them as a goddamn victim. How about that? Can you try that one? Can you try not pandering to him? Okay, listen, man. Don't, don't, don't ever, don't ever. I like people who are themselves, man, and you should too. Don't fetishize somebody for twenty years. You're gonna get tired of it. I'm just being honest. Keep that shit up if you want to. You're gonna feel, you're gonna feel very, very disappointed. Like I am very, very disappointed in all these events that lead to pandering all these people who didn't give a fuck about you in the first place acting like they care about you now because they you know, the media hyped it up and told them they got to care about you now they told you black life matters so it matters now huh what excuse me my shit been mattering to me since i was born in the fucking world why the fuck i need you what i need george soros or, or some third out of, out of fucking country same motherfucker who funded the Nazi party funding BLM telling me that Black Lives Matter. Why do I need him to tell me that? Some shit I already fucking know. I know my shit matters, motherfucker. We ain't made every goddamn thing. What the fuck you talking about? What the fuck? What? No, man. <laughs> Don't sell me a slogan. Right? Slogan ain't gonna do shit. Don't sell me on gender politics and all that shit. That ain't nothing to do with black folks, man. It don't. Stop Stop going there. Stop going there. Nothing wrong with you having sex with who you're going to have sex with. It has nothing to do with racial degradation. It has nothing to do with it. You want to be an ally? Then show me some silence if you want to be an ally. Show me some shut the fuck up. Show me some be quiet. Nobody cares about little hood events. Nobody cares about that. Oh, that event. Sorry, whoever coordinated that thing, put that thing together. It was crap. I'm glad I hid behind a tree and nobody really saw me who knew me up in that fucking thing. I didn't even, I ducked cameras. I was just trying to see who was there. And I was like, man... This is appalling, man. This is appalling. This is how you guys are going to go into November. Thinking like a bunch of fucking victims. I tell you what. I'd rather have a motherfucker who's going to give me some goddamn money. Than some goddamn grief. And some goddamn sensationalism. I'd rather some truth over some sensationalism. Any fucking day of the week. 